Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the count number of homogeneous substrings. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1759. But I know this will be a very easy solution after you watch the video till this end. So stick to the video till the end. So in this question, the problem is about counting the number of homogeneous substring. Uh, substring is homogeneous if uh, all the characters are same. So we are given with a string and we have to count, count the number of substrings which are actually a homogeneous substrings of S. So let's take an example. We take the sample example 1. So here A is a homogeneous substring which appears 3 times. Double A appears 1 time. B appears 2 time. Double B appears 1 time. So we have to count the similarly the number of all the homogeneous substrings. <laughs> so to count these homogeneous substrings efficiently, we can iterate through the string and uh, when we encounter a character different from the previous one, we can calculate and add the number of homogeneous substrings to till that point. Like we can keep two pointers. <coughs> One is the start and one is the current and uh, we can move the current until uh, the, it is same as the start and as soon as the current is not equal to start we can add all the homogeneous substring to the result and uh, finally we can return the result that uh, we have to return in the modulo of 10 power 9 plus 7 so let's see an example this sample example so a appears start is 0 appears one time so result is now 0 here you can see start is our uh, initial index and uh, up here will be our current index so when b occurs uh, it is not equal to previous character a so result become 1 and then again b occurs so the result becomes 3. How? Because B, B appears 2 times. B appears 2 times. So for that 2 is added in this result. And when C becomes. When C comes. So result becomes 5. 1 for the double B. And 1 for the C itself. Similarly for C again. We have. We get we two added here and here we add get added uh, 3 because 2c can occur 3c can occur 3 times c can occur and again a double a we have so that will double a will appear one time and uh, a will appear two times and differently so this was the dry run of an uh, you can say our approach let's now come to code it but before that please do like the video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel uh, we have to complete 200 subscriber today we are on 198 i hope you guys help me so first of all we will define a, a result variable to store the result and uh, then we can convert our given string s to char array uh, you can use uh, operations on strings as well but uh, i find it handy to use on character array that's why i used this now we'll keep a start pointer equal to zero and we'll iterate through the entire string
now uh, you can uh, you can see the, the we are using two pointers one is a i and one is a start so start is the charting index of a current homogeneous substring and i is the uh, ending index of the current homogeneous substring and uh, within this for loop we will uh, do the operations when the uh, ending index element at the ending index of this uh, homogeneous substring will not be equal to the starting index that is the substring will not be homogeneous so in that case we need to add up all the um, we need to add all the like possible substrings into a result a resulting string so we'll do that first of all we'll take uh, up here it counts basically how many times the uh, character has appeared uh, and then uh, we need to add this but you have to see a condition <coughs> while appear is greater than or equal to 0 this plus equal to appear because like if a suppose C appears uh, three times. So we have a C C C. So we'll add one for C C C also, one for C C also, and one for C also. So that's why we'll do rest plus up here and up here minus minus. And uh, then we put the start equal to I. But after this, we need to perform uh, one more operations because the last one, the calculation for the last set of characters will uh, still be remaining. So we need to perform that again. So simply, uh, we have to write this again. Start. I mean start. While peer greater than equal to zero, rest plus equal to up here and uh, up here minus equal to one, and we can return and rest mod. Mat dot pow tens power nine plus seven. So this will be our final answer. Let's check if it runs or not. So we have a error. So it is will be not i, it will be c dot length because we are doing it for the last element. So the ending index will be C dot length. So you can see it passes on the sample test case. Let's run on all test cases. So runs with a good uh, memory, uh, good runtime and good memory as well. Uh, this memory is uh, this because we have used a character array if we have used uh, operations on the string only we would have uh, got uh, much better memory but uh, it all depends upon the complexity which you will be going to uh, uh, like big of big o complexities so let's come to the complexity first so the time complexity for this is actually O of n because we are traversing the entire uh, length of the array only once. And the space complexity is uh, either the length of the string if you uh, count the uh, character array as well. But I uh, would not count the character array as in the space complexity because uh, sometimes if I had I used the uh, different 
language say C++ so I would not have needed to convert it into a character array I, I would have simply uh, done the operations on the vectors so like you see here you have C C of I so if you use string you can simply write uh, C S dot caret I and yeah here you can write S dot caret start so if you can uh, write like this you will get a much uh, better memory so this was my solution for today's uh, uh, question which is the count number of homogeneous substrings. I hope you like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.